Hello guys, so welcome to Cave Tutorials. So in this tutorial we are going through some Corona materials. So let's get started. So let's go into rendering, render setup and let's activate this Corona render over here. So after you activate it, let's first increase the output size. I'll activate this force to side it. So I'll go into the material editor and I'll take, I'll go into this Corona over here. I'll take a legacy material, Corona legacy material. So let's go into this and let's assign some textures over here. So you also have some of this materials over here assigned. You can directly just assign a bitmap. So I'll just go into this. I'll just assign a texture over here. So just select this over here and I'll assign this. So once you've assigned this, I'll again go into this. I'll go into the texture and I'll increase the tiling of it. Let's give UVW map. So I'll assign a UVW map over here and I'll increase its height. Also, if you want, I can go into the library over here for this. So we have a material library. You can open up a material library for this Corona material. As you can see, we have a library over here. You can even assign some shaders. So in this library you have different different shaders. So let's go into this and let's assign some fabric over here. So I can just go down and I can assign some fabric shaders. So I'll just select this and add to selected objects. I can assign this. Again, I can go into this and let's assign a UVW map. Set it as a box. So you can assign the shaders over here. So as you can see, this is how the shader looks like. So what I'll do, I'll just assign a velvet that looks much better. Assign to selected objects. You can give a UVW map. Same for this. Also, you can give it from here also. Again, I'll go back to the slate material editor. So as usual, what I'll do, I'll just assign this material. So I'll go into this and I'll give a UVW map. Set it as a box. I'll increase its height. UVW map set it as a box, increase its height. So we'll be assigning UVW map for all. All 
All right. Now, even we have some wooden over here. So we have some wood textures also. So you can assign it any of it. So let's just assign to selected objects over here. UVW map. Set it as a box. I can easily select this again and I can assign the same. So give again a UVW map, set it as a box and I will slightly increase its height. So for this, for the base section, We have some presets over here. We have some metal over here. You can assign some metal shaders. As you can see aluminium, polished, satin, brushed. So let's just assign this to all over here. So we can again go into this library, again I will go into the wood, alright, we are just taking some examples over here for understanding, again I will go into this. For the flooring part, we have flooring also. You can assign this UVW map. So let's again go into this you can render and see how it looks like. So I'll just go into this and I'll add some basic lights over here. So I'll go into this and I'll add a Corona Sun. So you can adjust this intensity also if required and even you can change the color of it at Corona environment. Oh, it's, it's highly illuminating. So we can slightly reduce the intensity of it. We can reduce the intensity of the light.
So now what I can do over here is like you can reduce the intensity if required. You can go into the environment. As you can see we have a corona environment over here. You can render it once again. Okay. Now looks much better. So we have just removed the environment from it. So I can again if you want you can add up a corona environment. So let's go into the environment over here. So we can add the environment also over here. Corona sky. Okay. So instead of using this, we have uh, multiple render settings also. We need to work with some render settings. So this is just for the understanding we have put an environment. So let's go into the render setup. So we can go into this. If you want you can activate this but depends on your machine configuration. Single map. Let's go into this. We'll just check out few of the options over here. Sampling pattern. So again go into the scene over here. Reflections override, reflections override. So even if you don't need to put this light, we have one more light we can for let's just put one light over here. I'll just increase this. I can activate the target. over here push this over here select this intensity we can reduce this Kelvin we can work with the temperature if required let's render and see Also you have the shape of the light like you want it a sphere, you want it how you can define that. That is just because of your sky over here. We can put something over here which is closed a bit. And define something so convert to editable poly select the polygons let's give a shell modifier or select the polygons now give a shell modifier and let's just assign a color to it and assign this so I've assigned this corona legacy material now let's render and see how it looks like okay 
So you need some elements in the scene. If you want you can go into the environment and you can slightly remove this. And if you want to add an HDRI map you can definitely add an HDRI map also if required. There is no IES file. So I can again go over here, bitmap, and you can add an HDRI map or just an image for now. Let's render it again. And you can increase the intensity of the light now. If you want, you can make it in the light units, Lumion. That can be adjusted accordingly. As you can see, this we are just creating for the understanding there are a lot of things. You have some tone mapping also, if you want you can even increase the exposure over here. You have light mix, stats. Bloom and glare, you can work with that. Bloom intensities. You can increase the exposure. As you can see, I can increase, decrease the exposure of the light while what kind of, whenever you are rendering, you can change this whenever it's required. White balance, you can work with the white balance also. Also we have the contrast option. Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section. So thanks for watching this tutorial.